So lesson three is setting up a project environment. So here we have to move to the software, which is the plan shift. So here we are in plan shift. So in today's lesson, our concentration is going to be more on template creation, not the overview of this. Do I believe, do I believe you are familiar with the takeoff items of the plan shift? But let's just go briefly on that. So here is the plan shift interface. At the top, you have the job, you have the navigate, you have the zoom, the measure, the takeoff, the record, and the annotations. So here, this is where you create a new job. This is where you open. This is where you print. And this is where you uh, email a job. Here we have the navigation back and front. When you make an error, you can easily go back, which is the call to undo. Here we have the zoom. You have to fit page zoom, the zoom in, the zoom out, the pan. If you want to move your drawing here. And this is where you scale your page. And this is where you have your dimension. If you want to measure a distance, this is the takeoff area where you can measure the area, linear, uh, segment, counts, auto count, single click counts, and so on. So this is where your recording starts, digitization record, and new sexual record. Here we have the annotation, the highlighter, when you want to highlight, the notes, the overlay, when you want to make an overlay, when you want to also add an image here. So the next, on the top uh, menu bar, we have the page. So this is where you add new pages. If you want to batch rename, if you want to batch rename the pages, if you want to add pages from plan room, if you want to also move the pages left to right like this, you can rotate 360 up and down, rotate batch, you can flip between horizontal and vertical. You can also invert, you can also crop as new page, you can also copy to clipboard, you can also set origin offset origin and also close that page. So the next we have the toolbar, which we have also same takeoff items. We also have the calculation, the page to triangular. We also have PDF to TIFF converter. If you want to convert PDF to TIFF, we have zip Swift job. We have to, if you we have Swift on zip, if you want to zip your job and if you want to unzip your job, we have the attached file to job. Attach Excel file to job. We have the open Excel file in job. We also have save screenshot. If you want to save a screenshot of your work. Here we have the view. You can view digitally. You can show labels. You can hide labels. You can show digitalization items. You can hide them. You can show overlay. You can hide overlays. You can show dimension. You can hide dimension here. You can show notes and also hide the notes. We can show cut lines and also hide cut lines. You can also adjust, adjust labels, adjust dimension, adjust notes. So the next we have the estimating. So under the estimating, this is where when you take off, you have, we have a takeoff here. This is where when you are done with your takeoff, you come here and insert the cost, the markup, the prices, and so on. Also prepare your report and submit for bid. So here we have other items, which are also mentioned in that. We have the print, we have the add column, the filter, if you want to filter, you have the refresh, the properties, the expand all, you can see, and collapse all like this. You can also export to Excel, you can export your takeoff data to Excel. You can also import templates, you can also copy and paste. You can also move using these key arrows for adjustment. So the next we have the list, which is here we have the new, delete properties folder, then this is where we are going to work on. This is the template. This is our main course area of concern. So here under the template, you can see we have a lot of things here, which we are going to go more deep in the course. And the next we have the settings. This is where you can deactivate and activate your license, change some of the measurement units here, the dollars, the currency sign to use. You can add your company name. You can add your shortcut hotkeys and so on. We have the reports. So here is the report where you can create reports after after you are done with your takeoff. You can create a report here and also export to Excel, export to CSV, export to XML, export to HTML, export to PDF, and a lot more. And this is the help if you want to contact uh, the software help. And this is the plugin. You want to import a new plugin and install a plugin and also refresh uh, the plugin. Yeah, 
So basically, we are done with the introduction. So let's move to the main template and the folder structure. So uh, the first thing to do when you want to create a new template, you can see we have a varieties of templates here. So the folder structure here yeah. is the first thing to do is to first create a folder structure, which is new tab. You have to create a new tab. This is it. When you click this, you give it a name. We are going to call this template creation course. And then click push. So here we have my new folder structure. That's template creation course. So how to manage managing master files and drawing sets. Naming convention and version control. So let's look at that. So since we have created our folder structure, so the next is managing master files and drawing sets. So here, the next thing is to create a new folder. So we can call this substructure. Click OK. I have our folder structure. We can create another one. And call this superstructure. Yeah. So click OK. So the next is uh, managing drawing set. So here we have some drawings which are already imported. Um, here is how you import your drawing. If you don't know how to import that, we have an uh, introductory video on PlanSwift, how to import drawings, how to export, and so on. So you can check that out. But for today's course, we are concentrating only on the template creation course. So I believe you already know how to import drawings before enrolling on this course. So this is uh, a drawing here. We have a drawing here. So we can see it's, this is a floor plan, but it is named CMAX GL New GC. So for you to have your Drawing set ready. You need to rename this. This is a floor plan for easy access. Click OK. And the next we have this is the roof plan. And also rename this and call this roof plan. So when you have ever you are given a drawing which is not properly properly renamed, you have to rename it properly. This is the exterior elevation. So like I said earlier, you can actually crop this page, create a new page, uh, but maybe you want to use, uh, expand this, pull out. Maybe you need to view this only as a new page or do that, you can easily do that in here where you can crop as new page, flip, revert. If you want to batch rotate, you can do that. If you want to batch rename, you can do that within the batch rename and so on. But we are not going, we are not going to go deep on that. We have the introductory video on that. You can also check it out and it is also free on our channel. So the next is naming convention and version control. So for naming convention and version control, we have the plan swift here. We have the naming convention done already. Then the version control now is, let's assume uh, you have created your first template and later on, you want to make an improve on that template and update, you want to update the version of that template. So instead of editing what you have here, you can also create a new version of your template and rename it. So let's assume this is a template that we created, our first template, which is elemental, uh, categorized elementally, and we want to create a new template, which is categorized division by division. So what you can easily do is, we have to keep this version intact. So to keep this version intact, what we only need to do is to go here under the tab and create export. Yes. So I'm just going to drop it. And, the, and call this elemental template and then save. 
So you can see here, I've already saved this as an elemental template. So we want to make an improvement on this template to convert it to division. So what we need to do is just to import what we have, click this, and then import this. We have the name here, template creation, click OK, make it number two. So you can see we have two version of this. So this is the first version and this is the second version. Template creation course version two. And easily rename this, can call it V2. Version two, click OK. So we have the version one and version two. So this version two, we want it to be division, not an uh, elemental. So we can easily delete this. And then make it division. Division one. Division two. Division three, and so on. So this is how you uh, create version of your templates.